Hello friends, welcome to I Wonder, Adventures in Learning, Multifaceted, Educational, Fun. Today, I wonder about matryoshkas. A matryoshka is simply the Russian word for a Russian doll, any of a set of hollow wooden figures, each of which splits in half to contain the next smallest figure down to the smallest. Matryoshka dolls are also known as babushka dolls, stacking dolls, nesting dolls, Russian tea dolls, or simply Russian dolls. They are a set of wooden dolls of decreasing size placed one inside another. The name matroshka, literally little matron, is a diminutive form of the Russian female first name matryona or matrosha. It is derived from the Latin root mater, which means mother or motherhood. In a way, Russian nesting dolls are emblematic of motherhood. Each doll could be looked at as the offspring of the next larger doll. The first matryoshka, created in 1892, very much resembles the matryoshkas found in gift shops worldwide today. It is a small wooden doll, almost perfectly cylindrical, painted to resemble a peasant woman in a traditional sarafan dress holding a rooster. She opens to reveal a smaller doll, which opens in turn to reveal another doll, and so on. Ordinarily, they are crafted from linden trees. There is a popular misconception that they are carved from one piece of wood. Rather, they are produced using a lathe, chisels, and handmade wooden calipers. Much of the artistry is in the painting of each doll, which can be very elaborate. The dolls often follow a theme. The themes may vary from fairy tale characters to Soviet leaders. In the West, matryoshka dolls are often referred to as babushka dolls, babushka meaning grandmother or old woman. Areas with notable Matroshka styles include Sergeyev Posad, Semyonov, Polkovsky Maidan, and the city of Kirov. A nesting doll emoji was released in January 2020, and in July 2020, Apple released its own nesting doll emoji. Here are some interesting destinations to add to your Matroshka bucket list. First, the painting factory in Semyonov, which is just 100 kilometers northeast of the city in which we lived, Nizhny Novgorod. Then, if you ever make it to Nizhny Novgorod, which is the best place in Russia, of course, you could visit the nearby town of Garadets, which I mention because our family did get to visit this wonderful little museum when we lived there. And finally, Manjuli Matroshka Square, a quirky plaza on the Russian border in Inner Mongolia, China, which includes a large park with huge sculptures of colorful Russian nesting dolls and a large matryoshka-shaped and themed hotel. Matryoshkas can be used to promote wellness in our bodies and in our emotions. The American Heart Association published an article in 2017 in Circulation Research entitled The Unraveling of the Matryoshka Doll. This article presents a viewpoint of the successive layers within the cell that can be exploited or to prevent or treat cardiac dysfunction. The author says that as one considers how therapeutics in the regenerative medicine field will evolve, it is interesting to relate the findings to date to the paradigm modeled by a Russian matryoshka doll. The Russian nesting dolls often all look the same, but are distinct in size, with one fitting inside the next. Similarly, 
The different therapeutic mechanisms described may look different, but based on preclinical and, to some extent, clinical studies, their impact on preventing and treating cardiac dysfunction seems to be similar. Roger Day, a certified transactional analyst, psychotherapist, and play therapy specialist, and Christine Day, a counselor and nursery nurse, have written a book called Matroshkas in Therapy, Creative Ways to Use Russian Dolls with Clients. They say, a set of Russian dolls is more than just an ornament. It is a vital tool for the counselor, psychotherapist, or play therapist. This short book contains a range of creative ways to help clients of all ages explore and work through their emotional issues. Mark 4, 22, NIV. For whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed, and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. I want to recommend to you this lovely children's book called The Littlest Matroshka by Corinne Damas Bliss, illustrated by Catherine Brown. Nina, the smallest of a group of Russian nesting dolls, is separated from her sisters and swept along on a dangerous journey that eventually brings her back home. And here it is read by a grandmother to her grandchildren. I love this creative way to share a beloved book and treasured matroshkas at the same time. Since I've traveled to Russia seven times and lived there with my family for almost two years, I am delighted to have acquired some matroshkas along the way. Today I wanted to show you a couple of my favorites, and while I show you these, let's enjoy a Russian folk song entitled Matroshka. This first one, I think it used to be a pencil, and she's just lovely. She doesn't open up, but you can see there's a little hole there. And this one is a simple Christmas ornament, and she just hangs on the tree. She looks like she opens up, but she doesn't. Now this one was probably my favorite because of course, red. And she at one time had 10 matroshkas in all, but the littlest one somehow got lost when my children were playing with her. And that's all right because she's still home. And then this one, when I open her up, She's not really a traditional one, but she has all her babies inside. And I loved that because I had all my children and I just loved having all her little ones in there. And then this is a Christmas one. It's a simple one, but it has baby Jesus and then Mary. Line her up and then Joseph. So that's a, an example of a nativity themed matroshka. And finally, my largest matroshka, well, the one with the most number of dolls. And for the sake of time, I'm going to put them together, not lining the layers up. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So when I see Matroshkas, I say, wow. You might want to do a little window shopping for Matroshkas. Here's a store called Best Pisanki, handcrafted treasures, from the name for the traditional Ukrainian Easter egg that has an entire section devoted to nesting dolls. They offer unfinished dolls, flower dolls, religious dolls, nutcracker dolls, pens and pencils, and much more. Or you might be interested in some nesting doll stickers, a nesting doll puzzle, a book with step-by-step -step instructions for painting your own nesting dolls, or some babushka or matroshka coloring books. 
I stumbled across a programming library used in the Scala programming language called Matroshka. This set of programming resources specializes in implementing recursion schemes. Since I have a computer science degree, I thought that was pretty wonderful. This Matroshka has a mechanism to implicitly do the recursion for us instead of implementing by ourselves the recursive functions and it automates the process of traversing and evaluating the data structures. Matryoshka dolls are recursive, every doll inside the largest outer doll being a smaller version of another. If you're already captivated by the idea of combining computer programming and Russian dolls, visit the site to find out how to build Matryoshka dolls from a list of names, calculate the number of dolls, transform list string to a list person with its age. Isn't that wonderful? Are you ready to give it a whirl to learn how to make your own matryoshkas? You might want to fabricate your own dolls from a piece of wood and learn some Russian as you go, or paint a pre-made set. You might want to choose a traditional design or come up with something more abstract. You can learn how to draw a matryoshka or simply color them on a piece of paper. I hope you enjoy exploring these creative options. Take a look at how master craftsmen make matryoshki in Semyonov, Russia, where over 60% of the 1.2 million dolls made each year are produced. To carve the perfect doll, first of all, you need the right kind of wood. And to make a top-class matryoshki, only lime trees will do. It might make up less than 2% of Russia's forest land, but lime wood is perfect for the job. It's soft, easy to shape and durable. The ideal material to make a doll that has to be both attractive and capable of withstanding a lifetime of stacking and unstacking. Each of these blanks will become just one half of one doll, so it's time to get carving. The outer dolls are handmade by this army of woodworkers. And like the dolls they craft, the carvers just keep on coming. <laughs> Anya moves on to the next size up before slotting the smaller one inside to check it's a perfect fit. But even her skills can't keep the doll from coming apart without a little science. The key is to select a blank for the top half that contains 12% more moisture than the bottom half. When it dries out, the top contracts and clamps onto the bottom half to form in a perfect tight fit. The workers treat the wood with a good helping of potato paste, the natural equivalent of a modern-day primer. When the potato starch dries, the wood is sealed. It's cheap, readily available and highly effective. In this workshop, a 40-strong paintbrush battalion complete 3,000 matryoshki per day by hand. That's over 20,000 brush strokes and 3 kilograms of paint every 24 hours. Painters like Svetlana Vladimirovna are on a highly regimented production line. Here's a lovely children's song called Mui Matroshki Vod Kakie Kroshki. You can sing along if you learn just a few Cyrillic letters. Here's a creative performance from the show Masquerade from Japan. People from all walks of life participate in the contest to present their unique performances. In addition to preparing their own costumes and props, contestants exert themselves physically and creatively to bring forth their best possible performance. One ticket? Really? Russian dolls, so full of themselves. Does this remind you of last week's I Wonder About Fractals? 
Take a look at how an icon of Russia is spreading the message about protective gear in the era of the COVID-19 pandemic. One Russian artist is styling her matroshkas with face masks and decorative patterns of the virus. Check out this super matroshka entitled Moscow with views of old Moscow. Each of the 30 dolls has a unique painting, including St. Basil's Cathedral, the old Kremlin wooden fortress, ancient wooden churches, the cupolas of the grand stone cathedrals in the Kremlin, and the Moskva River. The tallest doll is 13 inches. The smallest is smaller than a grain of rice. It took the artist over two months in 1995 to paint this doll set. The lathe operator also did fine work and the wood was cured for over two years before the painting could commence. Check out this over-the-top birthday party with some great ideas. This party is full of darling details that you won't want to miss, including Matroshka doll cakes, Matroshka doll cake pops, Matroshka doll sugar cookies, and Matroshka doll favor pouches. And you can use your favorite sugar cookie recipe and get some matroshka cookie cutters to make your own cookies. And here's a recipe for a Russian nesting doll cake. And now for a couple of wacky ideas. You could make your own matroshka costume, a set of nesting paper matroshkas, or knit your own small decorative matroshka. Aren't these so much fun? If you love wooden toys and using your imagination, you might enjoy this beautifully rendered, heartwarming, short CG animation film by Cosmonaut Animation Studios. A Matroshka family, led by an overprotective mother, find themselves on a desk full of playful wooden toys, Wary of strangers, Mother Matroshka distances her family from the other toys. However, the curiosity and openness of the youngest member of the family, Little Matroshka, will lead them into an adventure that will change them all. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you've enjoyed wondering with me today about matroshkas. The links for everything I've mentioned are in the notes below the video. Please like, subscribe and share this with others in your life who might enjoy adventures in learning. See you next time.